All right, Derek, what do you remember? Is it that we have a Discord <laughs> in the link remember. below? I <laughs> a Discord in the description below? I sorry. All right. Yeah. Uh, what do you What do you remember? So, I do you remember oh, a very long time ago. It was around the time. Actually, it was a little. It was a while after. I think. I think it may have actually been when Blue's Clues ended. I remember seeing a little, a, a short little documentary special thing on uh, Nickelodeon. It was like 15 minutes long. Oh, on Nickelodeon. Um, well, I don't know what Blue's Clues has to do with that. Uh, on, uh, uh, the guy who played Steve. I don't remember what his name is. Okay. Uh, oh, it's on Steve. What? But why was it on Nickelodeon? Because there's the guy who played Steve, and then it was Blue's Clues. Was Blue's Clues Nickelodeon? Yes. No, no, no. I get, yeah, you know, that seems to make sense. Uh, no, 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 no. Something's, like... <laughs> Something's wrong there. It was a short little thing, though, on why uh, he, like, stopped doing the show and uh -huh. why he ended up going off to college, in quotation marks. Uh, and uh, he... he pursued uh, a music career. Everyone thinks yeah. he's dead. Yeah, Steve people... Yeah, he's not dead. He's alive. Um, yeah, it, it, we talked... I, I think we actually talked about this in Frack to Ask. We probably... We talked we about have. Steve. We I yeah. don't know if we talked about this specifically, that you watched a documentary, but yeah. we talked about he, Steve. Uh, he just didn't want to... Frankly, or his reasoning for, like, stopping Blue's Clues... Or mm -hmm. doing blues because was he just didn't want to do it anymore. Hey kitty, uh, yes I know you're ah ah kitty you're gonna he, cause he me to die. To, like he did want to pursue go and pursue his music career, but also he just hated like he 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 it started to like he started to like hate doing it hate doing blues clues. He, oh yeah. He const, it was const, like he constantly had to like um you know he had to maintain his Steve his child friendly looking state uh Steveliness. Yeah. Uh, which is a I guess he that was he wanted to go bald. About. Uh, he was yeah. losing hair. He said that. He was losing hair, whether yeah. he wanted to or not. So he wanted to just, you know, go bald, go on his own terms, suffice uh, to say. Have his hair go out on its own terms. Woo! Uh, oh, no. Uh -oh. There's too many things for yeah. me to want to fight here. Despite the fact that he was making a lot of good money off it, he just didn't want to do it anymore, basically. He wanted to go out and pursue his music career. and It's understandable. Uh, and they got Jeff. Okay. I never really had that much of a problem with him. Jeff. It's actually Joe. Not, not, oh, Joe. Whatever. It's <laughs> Joe. Yeah, it's Joe. It is guy, Joe, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Jeff, something doesn't seem right about it being Jeff. <laughs> but, yeah. But uh, I'll let it slide for now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they got Joe. Uh, which I didn't have a problem with Joe at all. He's fine. Um, they still my, got the movie with Steve before he my, left. Uh, That's Joe, all they needed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Young young Derek didn't have a problem with Joe. He didn't look at Joe and just be like, who's this fucko? <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, it matters to some people for some reason with stuff like that, but... Mm. I, I mean, know. young me wasn't going to care. Uh, current me probably would care. Uh, Why? Young me didn't care. Cause, well, young me was too stupid to care. Because uh, he was a child. Um, yeah. And so children are, children are dumb and aren't going to care about that kind of thing. Uh, and if they do, that, that, and if they do, their opinion doesn't matter. They're a child. Um, <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, I'm okay for right now. Oh, but um, I, I I don't know why I would have a problem with it now. I'm just saying, like, I have the sentient thought now to have a problem with something so, like that. I don't know why. Seems well because when I was a child, I was dumb because I was a child. Okay. But. Uh, it's, it's, what I'm hearing from you is you have no reason to dislike Joe, but you do. I don't. No, I don't like. Di I don't dislike Joe. You feel I'm like you'd have, have a problem. With I him. have the ability to dislike Joe now. Okay. What's the difference? Oh boy, that was close. And then uh, I took damage to something the, else. The difference is that when I was younger, I had. I would have. Or I don't see any reason why I would have disliked Joe. I mm -hmm. would have. I wouldn't have. Or nothing. Or uh, the main character in the show changing wouldn't have mattered to me. It didn't matter to me. Yeah, I'm saying what I'm saying now is, if a main character in a show uh, completely changed, out of nowhere, because one of them didn't want, because someone, because like the main character, the person who played the main character, did no longer want to be part of that show. Uh, I probably, I might, I that's something I might care about now. Eh. Saying as a kid, I wouldn't have cared about such a thing. Hey, kitty. Yeah, we're gonna hear that for probably the rest of the series. I guess I don't know. I don't know. She just, she just keeps meowing. She's. She's not happy about being locked downstairs. I, I kind of want her to just chill. She's not doing too well. She's been having, yeah. like, weird spasms. Mm. It's sad. <laughs> Makes me sad. All right. How old is the, How old is your cat? I've had her since second grade. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's like 14 years. And my mom's like, she probably has like another year or two left because she has some sort of liver thing. I'm like, oh. And my mom's like, I don't know how she's doing now. I'm like, oh. Mm. So that's my sad cat story. Sorry, I just bummed you all out. Anyhow, we have a, a Discord uh, in the description below. <laughs> uh, I had a... Uh, <laughs> I had a cat that... Uh, mm. um, she was a... I think she was a year older than I was. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had her all the way up until she I was had, 17. Yeah, I had we a had cat her, that was older than me. She, Not by we a had year, her all the way up until she was 17. Uh, oh, and this cat used to... Bad. I remember how it became a thing. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't I, I don't remember when this started. This was like this had to have been when I was in like second or third grade probably. Uh she would uh at some point um she started to just like because like she used to like live in the basement. She just refused to leave the basement most of the time. Right. Uh except when we when no one was in the house, uh, we we'd catch her upstairs every so often, like uh it's not that like we didn't want her upstairs or anything, it's just that she would actually like venture upstairs when no one was around. We catch her like we'd come home sometimes and we like I would be like I remember coming home, unlock it, going to like unlock the door when I was like in like fifth grade or, or fifth or sixth grade or so, mm -hmm. uh, and then like seeing this cat run from the living room downstairs real quick, like she was. Mm -hmm. I remember like ever so often quietly making making it inside and seeing her just like ju or quickly jump off the couch and run downstairs. That's like, funny. She used to have like crazy cat parties when we were like I swear she crazy, like, cat, crazy parties. cat parties when like no one was home and then like as soon as we get home like she just taking... send the ca all the other cats out the back door and just like run downstairs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she ran downstairs so... and distracted so she could uh she could go uh so the cats could yeah. run out the other entrance so yeah. you wouldn't know. So um <laughs> but uh what she started doing was like when I was in like second or third grade uh, when I would go to bed, she would uh, come upstairs and come into my room and like uh, sleep or sleep on my bed with me all night. Mm -hmm. um, my cat's been like, doing that lately. I, I would wake up and I would wake up and she'd be like right next to me or whatever. Glad we uh, got the rocket launcher. That'll be uh, a nice well, backup. Well, I, I would usually wake when she came in. Uh, she would like ever she would like either sleep to the side of me. Sometimes she'd just like sleep on top of me. I'm pretty sure there were a lot, for a good portion of the time she was honestly just trying to to suffocate me to death because like she'd sleep like really close to my face sometimes. Yeah, my cat uh, has been trying that lately. She didn't used to do it, then she just started like trying to like sit on my face, and I'm just I'm like, Kitty, no, I'm you can't you. put your I'm, ass in my face. I'm gonna be the one to take you out. She kept trying to put her ass in my face. I'm like, Kitty, no, you're not an Indian chick. You can't do that. But uh. So it got to a point though where this cat, cause like this was when I used to go to bed like, <coughs> I when I was or when I was in like second or third grade I would go to bed like way earlier than I would like when I was in like seventh or eighth grade or like uh, when I was or um you know from that like at the, those starting at those points so it got to uh, eventually it got to a point where like I started like. Uh, not going to bed quite when she would expect me to and she would come upstairs she'd come up to the bottom of the stairs mm -hmm. uh, or she'd come up to the top of the stairs I don't know how she'd come up to the bottom of the stairs that'd be impressive uh, it would she'd be. come up to the top of the stairs and oh, so around like I don't know probably like 9 10 o'clock or so and she'd oh. sit there and she'd meow and then she would look at me and just stare at me and like with the, with the with like the, th the expression of like are you going to bed? Cause like my door would always be closed. Super so glad like, that I decided like, to grab a different weapon when I got that. Could have lost my kunai, but now I still have the kunai. Although that needle gun is kind of useful. Sorry. Uh, yeah, keep uh, going. So, uh, she, she, yeah, she would like look at me like, "Are you going to bed? Come on!" Because like my <laughs> door would be closed and she wouldn't be able to go in without or, or before then. Uh, and like as soon as I would like go to like uh, go to bed, like as I was walking down the hall past her, past the door, she'd like walk with me to my to my uh, uh, room and like quickly jump on the bed and like lay right in the center, like right at the base of my pillow. And I'd be like, you know, you're not staying there. I have to push you. I gotta at least slide you over or something like that. Uh, so I'd have to like slide yeah. her over. It's get sad because my cat no longer fits on my current couch with me, not very well. Um, and she won't try any positions like. Where I can put my arm around her, so yeah. I can't like get a good sleeping position with her, and it makes me sad because she used to sleep with me on the couch for a while. Um, weapons will automatically load when they are not active. Too bad my I only have one weapon, and it's always active. This is the use of scroll. That scroll does nothing. It, it, it accomplishes nothing. 
Good day, sir. Um, well, you got it. Um, yeah, I do have it now. You're not wrong. I just have to accept that as a fact as it is. But yeah, uh, she used to do. She uh, she did that for like the long or well she she did that pretty much from then on where she would just con or she would always just like uh, come up and like or she would let me know when she w when she was tired and she wanted to go to bed uh, and then she right. wouldn't she wouldn't shut up until I did until I also Fuck. like went to bed All right. yeah. or like she every so often she'd like go downstairs and like try again in like an hour like I could get her to snooze uh, like I could get her to snooze like yeah five more minutes. Uh, if my cat ever starts meowing, I just kick her upstairs. It's like, I'm not, hmm. not dealing with this all night. I don't know what I'm going to do tonight, though, because I guess my mom wants to lock down here, and she's begging to go upstairs. Mm. But I also had the problem for a while where, like, I'd wake up, and she wouldn't... She, <coughs> I, I'd wake up, and she wouldn't leave my room. Uh, and then, like, I'd have to... I Because, like, we had dogs, and I didn't want them going in my room because they eat stuff. Uh... I would have to uh, shut the door, but I couldn't shut the door with her in there, of course. So, uh, cause like, and she, I got to a point where like, I would go, I would be, I like, get up, I get ready for school, or whatever, and she'd still be in there, and she wouldn't have left, or and like I wouldn't be able to get her out. So I ended up having just like, and like the other thing too is like the dogs always like, if she didn't really like the dogs, and the dogs always never actually got, they rarely ever got to see her because she was always downstairs. So like, right, they'd see her and be like, oh shit, there's a new cat here. Uh, <laughs> there's a then, new cat here. They're like, they're like, oh shit! This is the cat I've been hearing about. Uh, <laughs> this is the cat I've been hearing about. They, they just like, they're like, they're nice to the cats. It's just like they just want to like sniff her or whatever. And uh, she get like really, she get like really afraid of them. And some, and sometimes that's why she wouldn't leave my room. Is she go? She'd be like, I'm gonna go, or like, all right, it's time to leave. Go leave. And like she'd see the dog and be like, uh, huh? Maybe, <laughs> maybe I don't leave yet. Uh, so like I have to like start like every day. I'd have to like after I get up. I, I get up, I shower, I I go back in. She'd still be there. I would get um, I'd like get changed, and I'd be like, all right, time to, time to go downstairs. So I'd pick her up and walk her over to the staircase, and then to like let her go downstairs from there. I had to give her a safety ride so she could get past the dog. Safety ride. But it got to it started to become ah, a problem. that's as stupid. She, as she got older, she started to become a problem where I, I was no longer able to keep her to like let her sleep in my room because she as she got like way older she she kind of like she would pee in my room a lot so yeah I woke up I, I woke up out. once where there was like some sort of wet substance mm. on like my blanket and right arm I don't mm. like to think about it I don't know it also yeah. might have just been cold I'm I, I'm not sure I'm I'm just not sure yeah uh, I had the problem. It got that being said, she really didn't want to not come in my room though. So it, there, we'd have we had to start keeping the basement door shut, uh, because we had to keep the basement door shut because uh, like if I, we didn't or if I or at least that night we'd have to keep it, it shut, um, because otherwise she'd come upstairs, come over to my room and just meow, uh, or she um which and she would also just come to the top of the stairs and like meow until the door was opened, at night, yeah. and it started to become a huge problem for a while. Uh, because like she just wouldn't, she just would continually do that. But I didn't want her in my room because she was just gonna pee. Mm. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was kind of. She ended up eventually becoming a problem. But... And you know what we do with problems? <laughs> Take them to the backyard with a shotgun to their head. I jeez, jeez. <laughs> Thanks for all the a cuddles shotgun, and shit. A shotgun's excessive. Like, <laughs> Like, if you're gonna do that with a, a sh okay, so like, a, like a rifle or something like that's gonna, like, you know, that use a rifle to put something down. A shotgun that puts or like spreads them ac across the yard. I need that. Like, I need it. Yeah, but no it, it, it'll be, be it's, no cat left. Shotguns are, I think, the mercifulest way to go. Typically, well, that's a. Uh, a shotgun will 100%, a shotgun to the head will 100% do the trick. Yes. Uh, the problem is, is they'll do the trick so well, they're all over the place. And now you have to clean up. Well, the I actually, won't, it won't necessarily 100% do the trick. I guess that's more for humans, though. It I guess it depends on also what you there have. Is, in the there is there is a girl that shot herself in the head with a shotgun. She lived. Wouldn't, yeah. wouldn't want to be her. It sounds like a bad Whatever, time. Whatever reason she decided to shoot the shotgun. You know, I don't think that... I Probably because she Got can't do better. anything right. Yeah. Even, like, shooting herself in the head with a shotgun. Jesus. Anyhow, it's next time on Spelletons. Might be the finale next time. Oh. Who knows? All right. Bye-bye. Let's find out.